Recently, Apple introduced a new operating system, version 26. And with that comes so-called liquid glass effect that we can see inside of the interface. Everyone is talking about it. And in this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily create it in Figma. So without further ado, let's go. First of all, I have an image from Unsplash, so it's going to be our background. So now I need to create a text layer. So I press T to create a text layer and let's call it uh, or write liquid glass. So it's going to be our button. Now I want to trim it and now I want to change the size, but 16 is fine for the font. All right. Now what I need to do. I need to create an auto layout to create a button. For more information how to create auto layouts, please check out my other videos on my channel. And now uh, I need to um, change some paddings from left and right and uh, change uh, top and bottom to 16. So left and right is going to be 24 and top and bottom 16. And now I need to add uh, some roundness of corner radius we're gonna put it 100 you're not gonna see it right now because we don't have any fill so let's add a stroke so we can see the shape of the button and let's place it over here so we can check the the effect and the difference that is happening um inside of our button now let's create a rectangle and place it inside of our outer layout and the key here is that we need to uh, use absolute positioning in order for this rectangle to be like inside of our um, outer layout so we can place it anywhere we want. So basically, like, currently I'm making something larger uh, and um, uh, I want to place it like under the text. So it's under the text and let's um, change the color of the rectangle to white. So you see it's white and now we need to change the opacity. And let's put that only for 1%, 1%. Next, we need to apply effects to this um, rectangle background. First of all, we want to change the background blur and create a blur. Um, this is just regular effect that everyone's using, right? To create like a, a glass, a glassy effect, but not liquid glass. Wait a minute and I'll show you how to do the liquid thing. So let's uh, use about... Um, what is it? Six. And let's make another effect and use texture. We need to place it under the background blur. And let's go inside and change the settings here. So we use size 90. Uh, you can play around with it. You can use your numbers. It doesn't matter. Well, for me, I think 90 is fine. And for the radius, I will put in 40. And now already we can see a really cool effect. You can play around with the numbers to see different effects, but let's leave it for now like this 1940. Next, what we need to do, we need to select our frame, uh, our layout, outer layout frame. That's the button frame. And use clip content so we don't see the extra um, background of the rectangle. You see now it cut it off and now we can see the effect inside of the button. So it already looks really cool. If you like what's happening, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Now we need to cancel the stroke and let's apply some effects to the button layer. So to the main outer layout. And now we select, um, we add uh, an effect and we need to change it to inner shadow and we need to apply one for x one for y and for the blur let's leave it at four and for the uh, color let's make it white and for the opacity let's uh, leave it at uh, i don't know about 20 percent is fine i think so basically with this we're kind of like making this shining effect for the button or let's try 60. 60 is better because we can see it's, it's more clearly, right? And now let's add another one. Uh, again, inner shadow. And now for positioning, we put, um, sorry, minus one. And for Y, minus one again. And for color, we make it white. 
Uh, let's uh, make a blur one so we can see it more clearly. So this is better. So now we can see like the button, the button layer of the button, right? And already it looks pretty cool, right? But let's go a little bit further and let's another, uh, let's add another effect. Uh, here, one, one, and for the blur one again, and let's change it to white. Oh, sorry, we need to make it inner shadow. And for the uh, color is white. And for opacity, let's make it about, well, 40%. You see? This adds sort of like a like a stroke effect to it. And let's add another effect. Uh, let's make it minus one, minus one. Uh, again, it should be in a shadow. And for the blur, let's make it one again. And let's add a white color and make it... Um, let's look how it looks. Yeah, about about like this. Let's add a 20, uh, 48. Uh, so it's going to be the same as the previous, the previous version. But we can play around with the color and make it a little bit grayish, uh, like this, because it's kind of like a other side of the button, so it shouldn't be white exactly. And let's move it down. So now we're having something really cool, right? So now it looks quite interesting. And here's another thing: we can um, go to a rectangle again and add blending to to this rectangle and uh, it's called plus lighter and you can play around with it as well if you change the opacity of the white rectangle you see it, it becomes like lighter so you can play around with it make it darker it doesn't matter so it's up to you like it's up to you how to create it. i'll leave it like this and i like the effect what's happening thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of the liquid glass effect in the comments below and please hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.